Well, good morning. Oh, when I was doing the edit for last week's video, I happened to notice that there was a house somewhere in the foggy rep that I had passed through that I missed a trap door. So I'm going to go look for that house and see if there is anything worthwhile. And then once I do that, we will continue looking for these caves and stuff. If I can find this house again. I'm not even sure I can. I just know it's in the foggy bank. Which means it could be pretty much anywhere. Oh, you see I'll take that. Um, maybe not. Well, I will take the bed, though. I also tinkered with the sound again, because I did notice that the game sound was still a little bit loud compared to me. I'm not about to start shouting to be heard over the game, so the best option was to lower the game sound a little bit. Where was this house? What? Oh, that's right. Light Meyer Bridge Repair. None of materials. I could actually fix it if I had the scrap on me. But scrap's all in storage. I should come back and do that, though. In fact, I just might, once I get done looking for this house, go back and repair that bridge. Wait, wait. Oh! Okay. I need to scrap all that. No. For a second there, I thought there was a cave over here. It was just log. So, we are in the foggy bank. And the house that I'm looking for was definitely in the foggy bank. Because that was what was shown in the mini map at that point. Now, have I been in there? That's some poor unfortunate sap. I'll take his bits. All right, let's go in here. It's it's Matt. We've probably been here. It is not Matt. We've not been here. Okay. Here I am looking for something else, and well. I find a new area that I have not been to yet. Or have I? Wait. No, I haven't. Because it is not mapped. Amazing all these little, uh, little places in this. All these little places that I missed. I found some scrap. 
think I need it. What? Three? Five? I can't remember what. Wait. Before we go. No, we've missed. We've missed a lot of stuff. Another enemy boss. I'll take your necklace. Anything else? No? Okay. Oh, there's an untouched meal here somewhere. Let's go back. <laughs> a lot of, uh, a lot of junk I'm leaving behind. Ah, another section in that. Okay, let's clear these out. Now I think we've mapped the whole thing. Is that green? It is. It'll be worth a little bit of coin. Alright, so where does this exit at then? At the foggy bank. Made a big giant loop. That's funny. We did. We just made a big giant loop. Still just only one scrap. Okay. So it may be in all of that. I got another one. That's the... Uh... Okay, that's our rift. I could have sworn the house I was looking for was on the up, on that side, but... not. Is that another cave entrance? Same one or a different one? Alright, where does this one go? Now this one, we have been to. Because there's a restored shrine in here. All right. Ah. 
Yeah, it's too bad I don't know the exact place on the mini-map where this uh, house I'm looking for could have been. Do not think it was on that side, though. I'm almost positive it was on the other side. Nicely appointed. Look at all those uh, bottles of wine. First of all, I know they've all turned to vinegar at this point. Ayo. That's gruesome. I'll take that. Missive to Whitemire Bloodbound. What is that? Ah, oh, my rescue arrives. I'm afraid you're too late, though. Those bloodthirsty bastards already took my best parts from their altar. There must be something I can do. I'm good as dead. Don't waste your time on me. My valuables are going to do nobody any good hidden away under a tree stump, though. You have slain my captor, so you've earned this much. Follow the river outside the cabin to the river delta and search the shore. When the world went down the slip hole, I hid my most valuable possessions away underneath a loose tree stump. Take whatever you want, just pass from cultist head in for me. Eh? I already found the stash. Ah, I guess I should have hidden it better, eh? Isaac grim grimaces in pain. I hope my things serve you well. Rest in peace. Okay. Well, that was kind of unfortunate and gruesome and sad. It's like they killed a lot of people for their ritual, whatever they were doing. But that's just gruesome. All right, what's this? Missive to Whitemire Bloodbound. I guess it's safe enough to read it because uh, I killed everything. The time has come to strike at our ethereal nemesis in Whitemire. Even now we gather our forces in the hills above Burwich for an assault on the village. However, before that can happen, we must first secure Whitemire so that there are no enemies at our back. Though strong, loyal, and ready to die in the name of Tithon, I believe you have insufficient blood bound to overcome the ethereal presence. We have had great success recently in bringing forth many more powerful servants of Tithon from the void. A single Arbringer could wipe out all of the ethereals in Whitemire and even take on Devil's Crossing, which could serve as a stronghold for our order in this region. To bring forth a Harburger, you will need the blood and lives of at least three men. Gather the sacrifices however you see fit, either from refugees on the road, rover camps are chosen among your own blood bound. Inform me of your success when it's complete. Alto Tre Grand Priest. Uh, I'm not sure that's how that works, dude. In fact, I think you tricked these people. Oh, we got another scrap. Ah, but we still only have two. Darn it. Alright. We found it, though. 
It actually was uh, something down here. Gruesome. Very sad. But, uh... Yep. There was actually a bit of story down there. No, don't go back down there. You've been down there once. Okay, I'll take that. A lot of iron bits, but not a whole lot of scrap. In here. There's our roof gate. Might as well go. Go back. The devil's crossing. Come see what's left of my wares. Well, actually, I have things for you. So, here you go. Here you go. Enjoy these things. Yes, Why do you have a green light over you? I'm never going out there again. You said you came from Burwich. Yes, I had a home in Mudborough before the town fell to the Ethereals. It was terrible. Fire and the dead everywhere around us. I watched my neighbors get torn to pieces by those things. It wasn't Captain Bourbon. Captain Bourbon saved you. It was Captain Bourbon that found us hiding at the boarding house. He personally rounded up the remaining survivors and led us here through the wilderness. Even with his help, not all of us made it through the swamps. Meg. Captain is a hero. Okay. Safe storage. No questions asked. Oh, and I've learned <laughs> something. I'm si I've been sitting here doing this number and finding the item and adding it to the stack. All I had to do was hit shift. And then click, and the stuff just automatically gets sorted for me. So, that was a handy trick. Oh, I didn't even notice this that was. Is it any good compared to what? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, but that's got a whole bunch of constitution on it. Still. I mean, a lot, some of this stuff wouldn't do me a lot of good, but hikes um might be worth swapping out oh that is most definitely worth swapping out look at that <laughs> holy smokes okay all right we want it the control Okay, control click. So I just want like three of them. All right, do we have our scrap? That I'll keep an eye on this. So let's see if we can go fix that bridge because I've never done that before. And fix the bridge. Back to the foggy bank. I'm kind of going. <laughs> I'm actually really glad I went back to look for that house because it was interesting. Which way was this bridge? I have a feeling it was. Not this way. Why is there an untouched meal in here? What is it with all these untouched meals? Thanks. Hold on. Chill the untouch 
Camille is over that way. It's in this house. Okay, I'll take those things. That's it. Although, in the process, we did get a couple more things to sell. Now I gotta find this bridge again. And that's our rip. Someday, when I've played the game a few times, I will remember where all this stuff is, right? Oh, more junk. Of course, I'm never going to see a tree stump again and not think of that poor guy. Ah, here it is. Repair the bridge to Berwick. You have restored this bridge. Yay! Well, that'll make it a lot easier to travel, right? Sure, I'll be a lot happier. I'm not sure the mob will be a lot happier, though. Goblins with guns? <laughs> Wait, those goblins have guns? That's what's funny. Um, who are you? I don't know, but you're not talking. But who are you? I've never seen y'all before. This armor chase, but at least I'm not helpless anymore. Oh, I know where I'm at now. Okay. These are the guys that, uh... This was where I found the blacksmith. Okay. At least I remembered something. Okay, so we found another cavern that I missed. We found the trap door that I was looking for, and that was kind of interesting. And we repaired a bridge. Here, where we go. I want to see if... Hotel's crossing. So that was not the first time I saw a bridge to be repaired. And over here... 25 scrap and 20,000 iron bits. That suggests that I should probably wait a little longer to 
do that. It must be restored before you can cross it, although you likely won't make it very far. That say, uh, yeah, you don't want to do that just yet. You will get give you good dead many, many that. times. <laughs> All right, so next time we will go back out and we'll see what we see. And perhaps we will even go back and continue exploring the warden's underground monstrosity. But until then, bye for now. See you around.